Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, October the 21st. Good to have you with us today. We're going to talk about eating right during the holidays, right? The holidays aren't that far away. We got Carrie Skelton is with us, but she's coming to us by Zoom. Good morning, Carrie. Hi, Paul. Good to see you again yeah. today. Where are you, by the way? I'm at Cerner in Kansas City. Okay. Good to have you here from Kansas City. Now, uh, this is October the 21st, but we're, we'll be coming into the holidays before too long. What do you want to talk about how we should be eating right during that holiday period? Excellent. So what I see often is that most of us don't eat enough of daily dietary fiber. And fiber helps us feel full. It helps with regularity. It helps decrease risk of chronic disease. And so if we really focus on getting more fiber in at each meal and snack, typically your appetite's going to be more controlled. Now, when you talk about eating more fiber, we're talking about eating fruits and vegetables and whole grains, right? Exactly. And legumes and lentils and beans are also excellent sources of dietary fiber. Okay. Are, are, are nuts, peanuts, and almonds, do, does that fall into the fiber category? Definitely. And there are also there's fiber in, in peanuts and nuts, but there's also great sources of fat and protein. Yeah. So good choices too. The walnuts. Walnuts are amazing. And, and beans. Now, does it make any difference as far as your diet? If you're eating canned beans or are the dry beans that you rehydrate better for you than the ones that are canned? So that's a personal preference. If you're going to do dried beans, you just have to plan ahead and soak them overnight and rinse those off and plan out your recipe. You can definitely control the sodium content better when you do dried beans. Yeah. And then if you use canned beans and chili, I always encourage people to rinse off those beans before you put them in soups or stews. Really? But mm -hmm. you got the but if if you're making chili and you buy the beans in the chili sauce, if you rinse it off, you're rinsing off all the 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 chili sauce too. So again, that's a personal preference. I just use the whole beans when I get the cans and just rinse off the gelatinous liquid that's around the bean. Okay, so the most important thing that you want to get across today is more fiber in your diet. Exactly, because most people that I see don't eat any more than 10 grams of dietary fiber a day, and we need, for women, 25 grams of fiber a day, and men need 38 grams of fiber a day. So if you're wanting to see how much dietary fiber you're eating, MyFitnessPal is a really good app to use to analyze your current nutrition intake and see how many grams of fiber you're eating a day. What is that again? So it's called My Fitness Pal. It's a free nutrition application that you can enter in your food intake for the day and really get a nice nutrition analysis of how many grams of fiber you're eating. Okay, just off the top of your head, though, if, you, if you're eating a, a big bowl of fruit in the morning and then you have a whole grain cereal and then mm -hmm. for dinner you're having, uh, say, like a cup of or, 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 or broccoli or asparagus or green beans, is that enough fiber, would you say? In your diet so that would that would be close to 15 right at 12 to 15 grams so then we'd want to do a powerhouse lunch with some whole grain bread or a nice leafy green salad with some garbanzo beans on it and some walnuts and then maybe some ground flaxseed and you could be pretty close to 25 to 30 grams of fiber with that okay that sounds good thank you so much if people want more information a website they can go to sure eatright.org and then the Mayo Clinic has excellent fiber resources on there for the benefits of fiber and how much we need. But I do want to plug that when you do increase your fiber, you got to make sure you drink plenty of water. That's right. really important right. to stay hydrated. Okay. Because fiber, fiber and water go hand in hand. And the excellent sources right now during the seasonal produce, apples, cranberries, spinach, and our winter squashes are phenomenal. They're in season. So 
grab some of those from your local farmer's market. Thank you, Carrie. Appreciate yes, having you Paul. here. Yes, Paul. Good to Ac see you. Academy of Nutrition and Dietitians. Pleasure to have you here. All right. Have a great day. Stay safe there in Kansas City. Now we turn to Ann Bickle. She's here in the studio with us. Uh, Missouri Coalition for Quality Care. And October is Residence Rights Month, right, Ann? It is, yes. And what is the Missouri Coalition for Quality Care? We are um, a all-volunteer organization who advocates for the elderly and the disabled who may live in long-term care facilities or may receive home care at home. But we believe that anyone who gets care should receive good care. And that's the what we believe our organization does. We advocate for all Missourians. Yeah. Now, this has been a, a, a rough year and a half, two years with the COVID pandemic. It's been rough on everybody, but especially for people who are in care facilities. It has been a very rough two years, year and a half, it has. And um, right now we are advocating that all um, home care, long-term care health workers get the vaccination. We believe, that as the president and uh, does, that every worker should be vaccinated. That will lower the uh, cases of COVID in the long-term care yes, facilities. Yes, yes. I don't understand. I don't understand the reasoning behind some people's statements that they don't feel that they need to be vaccinated. I don't either, Paul. Um, but if you're working, if you're working in a in a health environment in a long care facility, for goodness sakes, I think it's important that everyone get their vaccination. Because we, we were talking about this earlier with the doctor. Uh, Maybe maybe you could be carrying it and not feel the effects, but you could give it to other people who may not be as strong as you, and they end up getting sick or worse, dying. Yes, um, it is very important. We we know that the facilities that have the highest number of vaccinations are the ones that have the lowest number of COVID patients, and it's it's just very important for the safety of our residents in these facilities. Yeah. Now, if people want more information about the Missouri Coalition for Quality Care, what do they do? They go to our website. It's www.mcqc.com. Okay. www.mcqc.com. And you can have you find out all the information you need. And um, can you put comments on there, too, on the website? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, you can. Thank you, Ann Bickle. We appreciate you coming by today. It's always a pleasure to pleasure be here. Pleasure seeing you, too. Uh, if, if there, We're out of time, but if there's something you'd like to hear or see, please drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu.